Hi, I'm John Byrne with Poets and Quants. Welcome to Rutgers Business School in New Jersey. We're going to meet some students. They're described as gritty, hungry, smart, and ambitious. And boy, you're going to agree with that assessment. So come and join me. I'm a high school senior, and I came to visit Rutgers Business School. Convince me that I should attend. Let's start with you. I absolutely think you should come to Rutgers because I think the main thing that Rutgers gets to offer is because our professors are practitioners that then switch to academia and want to kind of continue that knowledge base. You really are applying everything that you've learned in classes conceptually. Like everything that I feel like I've learned within the supply chain major, I have applied in any of my internships. And I don't think that that's something that every school can boast. You also have a great alumni network at different places, so you really have these countless opportunities where you can also be close to different businesses in Jersey, New York, and have those same opportunities here. I would say one of the biggest benefits is extracurriculars because of such a large student body. You have all these numerous different extracurriculars. And we have 44 student clubs here, I'm yeah. told. Mm -hmm. Are you a member of any of them? I am actually, yeah. So I'm part of the Rutgers Entrepreneurial Society and the Road to Silicon Valley program. Have you been to Silicon Valley? Yes, twice. Thanks to the Road to Silicon Valley program. Huh? Having the opportunity to go to Silicon Valley, which is on the other side of the country, and go to this conference, visiting um, the Google headquarters, having a Rutgers alumni show us around. That experiential learning of being in a place yeah. is much more impactful than any, any textbook or presentation. It's not so scary going off onto these trips or conferences. You have to interact with speakers and network. Yeah. A lot of the times there are people doing the same thing that you're doing or want to do the same thing that you want to do. And to be able to connect in that sense was really helpful. What has been your favorite course so far? So I feel like my favorite class so far was management skills with uh, specifically Dr. Amiri. He was an excellent professor. He brought in kind of personal experiences. Just the way he presented was very captivating and even the lessons of the class itself to show, you know, you have to be kind of like ethical, you have to be responsive, you know, be a kind of team player. No matter what major you're taking or what field you're in, those like lessons that he taught me were really, you know, important. I want you to give me three adjectives that describe your fellow classmates. Ambitious, smart, um, but also I think a common theme is that we're the underdogs compared to other big universities. Oh, I like that. So that leads us to being gritty, to being hungry, and to just wanting more and kind of drives our motivation to want to succeed and make a career. Not only are we helpful, we're gracious, but I think something that I found at Rutgers Business School is that there's a difference between someone being kind versus being nice. You can find nice people anywhere, but RBS has genuinely kind people who want to help you. Now you were at Blackstone. Mm -hmm. You probably bumped into students from Wharton. Oh, of course. <laughs> you probably bumped into students from Yale and yeah. Harvard. Did you feel disadvantaged in any way? No, when I think about a great moment for me, like outside of Rutgers was like the first week of orientation, looking around and knowing I was the only Rutgers student and the only state school kid and that everyone had way more advantages. And I was like, well, I'm still here, so. <laughs> and then when I would go for lunch and I would see like 10 people that I knew from Rutgers, because we were all working on the street. And I was like, we're your colleagues, we're all here. I feel great about it every single day and I don't feel disadvantaged at all. Does everyone think they're getting their money's worth? Based on the tuition you're paying? That's part of our roughness. It's affordable. <laughs>